produced some incredible wrestlers. Yep. I don't know what the story with judo is, where the source of, source of greatness in Russia is for judo. But what do you make of Dagestan? Why, why, what is it in the culture of there or Russia broadly that produces greatness? Specifically in the combat sports. I don't know, yeah, specifically <laughs> in the combat sports, sorry. Uh, but I don't know if you wanna draw a distinction between wrestling and judo. I'm, I'm almost curious, do you understand the differences there in the culture? And... Still a combat sport to them. They're still in that same like realm of they're taking young kids and that that's what they do. So Khabib speaks very highly of judo. Yep. Like it's funny, Khabib, Vladimir Putin, People don't get it, but like judo is like one of the premier sports in the world. But we it's not, just don't understand it. It's not just popularity, so definitely popularity, but also like this respect. And th there's a certain thing, which is why I really value judo internationally. You don't get this in the United States, but internationally, no. there's an understanding. Like later in life, when you're a scientist meeting a businessman, when you both have done judo, there's this like nod of respect. respect. Yeah, it's so interesting. Uh, there's very few sports like that. You know, basketball doesn't have. I mean, I don't know almost any sport like that, and it's fascinating. Wrestling has that in the U.S., yeah. but it's the U.S. only. The rest of the world doesn't do that. There's a few like you could see that in like Iran or something like that. Yeah, with, they'll respect wrestling in that kind of way. Yeah, it's. Um, but judo on like a global scale is probably that only one due to its like physicality and the hardships that you have to go through to reach that upper level. So why do you think Dagestan, why do you think Khabib is as good as he is? Is there, is this just the raw genetics of the human or is there something about the system? The system, it all has to do with the system. So they, um, they grow up around fighting in all forms. Yep. Um, they're also, I mean, their technique is exceptionally good. Because they they grow up in it, they grow up. In they it. don't they don't understand anything else. So you don't have to. It's almost like you with the weight cutting. <laughs> it's not like a big dramatic thing for them to fight. It's like it's, it's just part of life. Yes, and when you're, I don't want to say bred into it, but when you've done it for, you know, I want to say like ninety percent of your life. By the time like Khabib probably has right from the time he could crawl, he's probably been grappling in some fashion thereof, right? Um, you know, when you, as grapplers, like you can look at a wrestler and having never seen this person before and go, you wrestled. Yeah. Why is that? It's because he's probably wrestled since he was like six. So the way he carries himself, the way his body is built, the way he grew into it, was framed around wrestling, mm -hmm. right? So the people in that culture are framed around fighting and grappling. You're, you're right, it's like, first of all, philosophically, psychologically, but also just like the way you move your body. Yes, That means like when you're young, the people you admire move their body in a certain, certain kind of way. way. And then genetically, it, it just, as they keep doing that, they're just gonna get better and better every generation. Yeah. It's just going to keep improving because they just keep building into that system of turning them out. And part of it, there's like cultural stuff where, the, I mean, it's such an interesting approach to wrestling. I, I really want to travel to Dagestan and just talk to them because I happen to be able to speak Russian.